Cat litter can be dangerous to humans. Cats, after all, are not the tidiest animals out there. They often urinate and defecate in their litter box without covering it afterward which creates a foul odor for their owners and anyone else who happens to come into contact with the area. Additionally, when cats scratch at their litter they release bacteria onto the surface of the cat litter which can cause respiratory problems such as asthma or bronchitis in people sensitive to these types of infections. To simply answer the question can cat litter be dangerous to humans? We can say yes. Cat litter is dangerous to humans. However, what's more, Dangerous is if the cats are not trained to relieve themselves in their litter box. It is important to give training to your cat to relieve itself in the litter box because if they are not trained, they will most likely urinate and defecate outside of the litter box. This can create a number of problems for both you and your cat. For starters, it can be difficult to clean up urine and feces from areas other than the litter box, and it can also be dangerous if your cat decides to relieve itself in an area where you or another person is likely to come into contact with it. So, while cat litter may be dangerous to humans in itself, it can become more dangerous if cats are not properly trained to use the litter box. For the safety and convenience of both you and your cat, make sure to train them on how to use the litter box correctly. Cat litter is toxic to humans? There has been a lot of concern over the toxicity level of cat litter to humans. It is important that you are aware that not all cat litters have toxic chemicals in them and some may even be considered safe for human contact. However, it's equally as important to know which ones can cause health problems or allergic reactions when they come into contact with your skin or when you inhale their dust particles. Roundworm eggs are found in cat litter. One final health concern that you should be aware of is the presence of roundworm eggs in cat litter. These eggs can cause a number of health problems in humans, including respiratory infections, allergic reactions, and even death. So if you are pregnant, have small children living in your home, or suffer from any type of respiratory illness, it is best to avoid contact with cat litter altogether. Lung infections are caused by breathing in foul-smelling, dusty cat litter. A lot of the time when people say that cat litter can be dangerous to humans they are referring to how it may affect your health due to breathing in foul-smelling dust particles spread through the air when cats scratch and dig at their litter box. This is especially common if there isn't a proper ventilation system installed in your home or apartment building. If this happens, then you should try cleaning out the litter box more often so as not to irritate yourself and others around you with constant coughing fits brought on by being exposed directly to these types of contaminants clumped together throughout the contents of your cat's litter container. It can worsen symptoms of asthma. If you have asthma or other respiratory problems, then it is definitely not a good idea to allow your cat's litter box to be in the same room where you sleep. In fact, if possible try finding an alternate place for your cat's litter box that can't easily be accessed by anyone but you and will provide better ventilation when needed either through proper air conditioning or fans installed throughout the area of residence. If this isn't possible, however, then at least make sure that whenever there are people around who may complain about allergies caused by being exposed directly to these types of contaminants immediately clean up after your cat so they don't get sick while staying with you in your home. It can cause bronchitis. If you are constantly exposed to the bacteria found in cat litter boxes, then it is possible for you to develop bronchitis which can be a very serious infection. Bronchitis is an inflammation of the airways that carry oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body, and if left untreated it can lead to other respiratory problems such as pneumonia. So make sure to take all of these risks into consideration before deciding whether or not having a litter box in your home is right for you and your feline friend. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. It can cause cat scratch disease. Cat scratch disease is a condition that can be caused by bacteria in cat litter. This type of infection often results from small scratches or wounds on your skin and typically presents itself with flu-like symptoms such as fever, joint pain, loss of appetite, swollen lymph nodes, etc. However, if left untreated it can lead to infection which can be an even more serious situation where the body's immune system overreacts to fight off the infections causing widespread damage throughout the entire body. So try not to let this happen by being careful around cats and cleaning up after them whenever they use their litter box. Studies show that cat litter can affect your memory. While there hasn't been a whole lot of research done on the effects of cat litter on human health, one study that was conducted showed that inhaling dust particles from used cat litter could lead to impaired cognitive function and memory loss. This is especially concerning for older adults who are already at an increased risk for these types of problems. 
So if you're someone who falls into this category, it might be a good idea to avoid having a litter box in your home altogether. It can be dangerous for pregnant women to be near cat litter. In addition to the study that was mentioned earlier, it has also been proven that cat litter can be dangerous for pregnant women since being exposed directly to these types of contaminants has caused some expectant mothers to experience miscarriages before giving birth. This is due in part to a syndrome called Toxoplasmosis gondii which causes an infection and inflammation of the brain as well as severe eye disease or blindness. So if you are pregnant or might become so sometime soon, then try avoiding exposure at all costs by keeping your cat's litter box far away from where your baby will most likely spend its time such as their room, etc. If you are allergic you shouldn't have a litter box in your home at all. If you are someone who suffers from allergies to cats or cat litter specifically, then it is probably a good idea for you to avoid having a litter box in your home altogether. This is because as we've discussed earlier, both of these things can cause all sorts of respiratory problems and other health issues that you really don't want to have to deal with on top of your already existing allergies. So take this into consideration before making the decision whether or not having a cat is right for you. It can cause temper issues. Believe it or not but cat litter can cause intermittent explosive disorder which can cause extreme rage and may cause temper problems. This is a very rare condition that most people don't think about however it can affect people badly. This usually happens when a person has been exposed to cat litter for long periods of time and it can cause all sorts of issues as well. So if you are someone who is prone to rage or temper tantrums then it might be best not to have a litter box in your home. A dirty litter box will make your cats unwell. Another reason why you should keep your cat's litter box clean is that if it's not, then your cats will become sick. This is because when the litter box isn't cleaned often enough, it becomes a breeding ground for bacteria and other harmful organisms which can make your cat very ill. So be sure to scoop out the waste and replace the litter on a regular basis in order to keep your cats healthy and happy. It can make your house stink. If you've ever noticed a bad smell coming from your cat's litter box, then it might be time to clean it. This is because if the litter gets too dirty or not changed often enough, then it can start to stink up the entire house quickly. So try and keep on top of this as best as possible so that everyone in your home remains happy and healthy. If you have a litter box, be sure to place it in an area where your cat can access it easily, but where people and other animals can't. This is because if the litter box isn't placed in an appropriate spot, then you might end up with unwanted visitors such as raccoons, opossums, and even stray cats. When it is placed inside the house it can completely destroy the quality of air in the house and make the residents sick. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.